Hi, I'm Rachel from Jimmy Beans Wool, and today we're gonna to take a look at block 15 of the Cascade Yarns Knitterati Diagonal Afghan. All right, so here I've got block 15, and you can see that we've got some lovely cables going on here, and also at the same time, we also have some lace details. So this square is lots of fun because you've got both cable crossings, um, to, to keep track of and also lace, which uh, makes this really cool, almost like argyle-ish pattern using the cables and the lace, love that. And then you have these nice um, uh, vertical columns of lace separating your cables. So let me just go ahead and move this out of the way and we will get started with the techniques that you need to know. So most of this square uses your basic techniques that we have already gone over I and mean, you can check out the basic techniques video which is linked in the upper right hand corner. Um, but there are a couple uh, stitches and techniques that are a little bit more complicated so um, make sure you can grab your cable needle because you are going to need that for the various different crossings that create that um, diamond shape. And I'm going to start with a couple of the decreases. All right, so let's get into the swatch a little bit here. All right, so the first stitch you need to know um, is purl two together through the back loop. And full disclosure, you really will be doing this on the wrong side of your work, but my swatch is on the right side right now, so I'm gonna show you from the right, right side angle. But this one, what you need to do is pull your working yarn to the front, and then you're gonna take your right needle and you're going to insert your needle into the back of the next two stitches, purl them together and then pull them off the needle. Whoops, got caught in my yarn there. Okay, let me show you that one more time. I'm gonna knit past that one. That one didn't go too well, so try it again. This is a tough stitch to, to manage. So pull your working yarn to the front and then take your right needle, come into the back of the two stitches and you're coming into the back side from the left to the right. And make sure you, what I did on that last one is I split the stitch, so make sure and um, come all the way into that back side and not split your yarn. And then you go ahead and purl like that. And that will pur purl those two stitches together through the back loop. And when you move your working yarn back to the back again, you can see that that stitch is twisted just like it would be um, if it were, um, if you were knitting through the back loop, but it's purling through the back loop, which you have to set it up just a little bit differently to make that happen. Okay, so that is purling two stitches together through the back loop. The next stitch I'm gonna show you is the um, slip two stitches as if to knit two together knit one, pass the two over, that's an S2KP. So you're gonna take your right needle, keep your working yarn in the back, take your right needle, insert it into the two stitches that you're slipping as if to knit, just like you were, you're going to knit them together, slip them over, and then knit one, and then pass these two over. That's a PSSO, sometimes it's called pass slip stitch over. In this case, it's two of them, but you pull them over the top of the stitch just like that. And what that does is make a nice centered double decrease. So it kind of follows that line of stitching all the way down. It's a nice um, centered decrease. All right, so those are all the stitches that you need to know um, that are not cables. So the next thing we're gonna do are the cables. And I'm gonna actually back my swatch up just a little bit here to have enough space to show you. We've got four cables that we're gonna do. Um, they're pretty simple, just you've got a couple um, purl cables and then a, a crossing cable where you cross two over each other. Okay, so grab your cable needle for this part. And the first one we're gonna do is a one over one right purl cable. So the first thing you do is slip one stitch to your cable needle and hold it to the back. And then you will purl one. And then purl one stitch from the cable needle. And that's that. And then the next stitch is a two over one right purl cable. So you slip one, oops, lost that stitch off my needle. There 
There we go. Okay, you're going to slip one stitch to the cable needle and hold it to the back. And then knit two stitches. And then purl one from the cable needle. Okay, so you've got two stitches that traveled to the right and then a purl one, uh, which is your background stitch. All right, the next guy is a two over one left purl cable. And on this one, you will hold, slip two stitches to your cable needle and hold them to the front. Oh, don't split it just like I did there. Whoopsie. There we go. Slip two to the cable needle, hold it to the front, and then you're going to purl one and then knit two stitches from your cable needle. One and two. And you can see we've got two stitches crossing to the left there and then the one purl, which is your background stitch. All right, and then the final cable that you need to know is a two over two right cable. And in this one, you're gonna slip two stitches to your cable needle, hold them to the back, knit two, and then knit two stitches from the cable needle. Voila, you've got a two over two cable crossing to the right, but all stitches in this case are knit. This is gonna be the cable that you do in the center of that, of that diamond where you're crossing the two, the two um, sides of the diamond over each other. All right, and that is all the cables that you need to do the square. All right, that's everything you need to know about block 15. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll see you back here in two weeks. I'm Rachel, thanks for watching. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing because we have a lot more yarn reviews, tutorials, and other fiber fun like that. Happy crafting.